everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is uh, another episode of our building up our em embellishment stash, um, kind of like a stash busting as well, because we're going to be using up, you know, various things that we probably had laying around, because n none of these projects, you know, well, this project isn't going to require large pieces of anything. Um, saw this idea some time back. I don't recall um, if it was Facebook, Pinterest, or Instagram. Um, I don't know, but I loved it, and I thought it would be fun today to do this but build on it. So, what um, I've done for this tag, because I'm not going to duplicate this on camera. We're going to work with just something slightly different. I've taken two of kind of your recycled craft paper. Um, I've cut those out into tags. Now you don't have to have a tag die. You could just make it yourself. Just you know, obviously you're going to have to make two ident identical. And then I came back with a little framelit die and just cut out the center. So I've got a nice little window. And then I just sandwiched the lace in between that, added a little tag, bulb pin, a little charm, and it's just that simple. Now I did add some gesso and, and we're going to do that today. So very quickly, I've got two cut out for us to work on and I'm just, we're going to try doing, you know, some little different things with this and see how it, it comes out. I like playing around with different things. Um, this is just some white gesso uh, just to kind of make this look a, a bit more weathered and tone that down some. It just gives it a really nice look to it. It's kind of like um, weathered wood to me, which I love. I love rustic chic. And then we'll come back over it with a little bit of ink to distress that a little bit more. And you can just add as much or as little as you want. I found it, it um, for me, it works better if I go in one direction because it, it does end up looking more like um, wood grain. Okay, that's, I think that's good, that's enough. So, if you've been following me, you will remember on my YouTube channel, we created some of these scrappy uh, bits of fabric. And if you're new and you haven't seen this, go to my YouTube channel and under tutorials, scroll down and um, you'll find the tutorial on how to make this. I'm not going to go into that today, guys, because it's, it's quite lengthy. And you would need to do this in advance. Now you don't have to do this. This is just I just want to show you how this is what I'm gonna do. I've taken some of this and I cut out this tiny tiny heart because I'm thinking for this one it would be really fun. Let me make sure I've got these the matched up as well. I want to do this one slightly different and I wanted to see how it would look if I were to sandwich piece of fabric so that each, you know, uh, I fold it over because I want to see the pretty fabric on both sides. And my thinking was it would be sweet to stitch that in with the heart there. Um, and this I'm actually just going to glue down. But the first thing I'm going to do then is go with one of these you could glue that down, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go straight to the machine, stitch around this, add the back to this, and then put this little um, tiny heart in the center. 
and then we'll doll this one up. So I will be back. Okay guys, I want to let you see what it's looking like. So you can see the front and the back. I really like that. Just more texture, more interest to the journal. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of ink to the edge. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so now I've decided I want to... Sorry, I'm trying to get my needle and thread. I'm going to stitch this dinky little tiny button that I found. I love the tiny, tiny buttons. Don't have a whole lot of them, but um, gosh, when I run across them, I get so excited because I love the tiny ones. Tiny ones and then, of course, the big, big, giant size. <laughs> but I think what I want to do is just stitch that tiny button right up in that corner. Now, I just, um, now you don't have to use this. You could use uh, a cutout heart from paper, um, just regular fabric cutout. You could use a book page. There's just so many things, so don't get hung up. But if you do think you're interested in how to make this um, using your scraps, then you just pop over to YouTube and you'll see that uh, tutorial for that. Okay, I've got that done. So let me put a little bit of Fabra Tech to glue that. Uh, it could be sewn, obviously, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to glue it because this is just going to be for a little tag. So, Okay, so we've got that. Now we need to sort out a pretty ribbon, and I don't know if I want to use. Oh, da -da -da. Hang on, guys. Let me see what I got. My scrap, scrap pile here. Okay, I've got some of this. I'm just going to cut that and then cut it down the middle. I do that sometimes if, if, if something's just too wide. <coughs> I just cut it down the middle. And then that way it'll be kind of a tatty edges, you know, a little bit of Unraveling. Let me grab my thread. It's warming up here today, guys. So, ugh, I'll be glad to get, to get out of here. And because, uh, as I said, when I video, I can't have the window open, and my goodness, I'm gonna have to grab the fan before I do anything else. It's just ridiculous how humid it is. Okay, I'm loving that. Love, love, loving that. So, the other thing I thought, I don't know, I thought about the bulb pin with a couple of buttons. I think I want to add that. I think that would be cute. If, it's, if I find it's too much when I put it into whatever journal it makes its way to, I can always take it off. But, oh, I like that. Very sweet. You could even, you could stamp a friend for you. 
Wouldn't that make a beautiful little uh, gift card tag? And you saw how quick and easy. So let's go ahead and make another. And I'm hopefully, you know, you're getting some ideas, thinking in terms of what you could do just to make these a little bit different. Um, okay, so we've got that. Let's do one with just a book page. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find a, I know, like she doesn't have a book page handy. I've only got a hundred thousand pages probably, but um, I don't know, sometimes you just got to have the right, the right page, don't you? Um, and yeah, you start uh, doing these and I don't know about you. I start gluing stuff down and then you can't help but to read. And then you think, oh no, I didn't realize that said that. And <laughs> it's not really appropriate for that kind of a project. And then you end up, it just ends up taking so much longer. Um, okay. So what I thought on this one is just something completely different is we're going to just get let me make sure the words okay just want to make sure I get the wording straight and I thought this one would be cute just to cut out a couple of hearts from my stash. So let me do that. So what I've got is, um, you know, the graduated framelits. So I'm going to do um, two hearts cut out in some scrapbooking paper. In fact, I'll pull it over. <clears throat> Not that you want to see me. Let me just zoom out for just a second for that. Okay, so here's just two bits of scrap that I've got. Um, these are just little scrap um, bits of um, ah scrap scrapbook paper. Jeez. So I'm going to do this one just on the solid, and have have it uh, sitting on that, and see how that looks. guys. Nearly done. Okay, let's get a little bit of ink on here. I think my ink pad is needing some more ink on it. It's um, it's not doing as good as it used to. All right, I'm going to pop this to the machine. I'm sorry to shut off again, but I just want to get this stitched because I want to have, make sure I've got this done. And then I'll be back and I'll show you these. Okay guys, I have stitched that and then I went ahead and added a little button to the center of that, did some stitching 
added a bit of uh, sorry silk and then some more of the twine. I like this. The only thing I'd say I didn't realize the um, heart is a little bit too big for that um, cutout, but it still looks nice. I would just be conscious of that next time to do it um, smaller. But I'm very pleased with how those came out. So I hope this will give you some ideas on you know using your lace fabric um, maybe in some different ways that you hadn't considered before. And you can see they all look very different, but I think they're just adorable. And uh, it's a great use for those tiny bits of scrap. You could even do a little snippet roll and just frame out your snippet roll, and it would look almost like, you know, a piece of Grandma's quilt or something. How nice would that be in just an, um, maybe one of your uh, family journals or something, a, a nice snippet of of a quilt that meant something to you. So anyways guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll be back very soon with uh, more of these kinds of um, videos. I've got a lot of um, embellishments I've been wanting to try and so we'll just do them together. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.